welcome to another episode of Dr. Me First. It's your colleague in medicine and coach in life, and I am bringing you a very special first edition podcast. So my husband and I, Mr. Wiseman, Mr. Dr. Wiseman, I guess would be the correct title. Yes, yes. I have earned every bit of that title, I believe. Do better whenever we have some kind of mutual project that we're working on other than children. And so we've been brainstorming on what we could do for 2020. And I've been loving the podcasting stuff. And I got super excited about buying some new equipment. And so we did. I I get my own microphone is what this essentially means. And so because of that, we're going to start naming these new features. I married an alpha female. Dun, dun, dun. I will be representing the alpha female like many of you out there. And I'm giving the spouse perspective. Or uh, sometimes it might just be a support group kind of thing. Exactly. So, in these first couple episodes of Married to an Alpha Female, we're just going to take issues of being married to a very intelligent, driven, smart, hardworking woman in our culture and how our counterparts deal with that. There are times where it really falls outside of the, the realm of what the traditional husband wife roles are and so uh, it's interesting because there's times where I'm definitely Mr. Mom uh, as far as you know picking up the kids dropping kids off daycare going over homework doing some laundry even well and I think there's a lot of guys in your position and you guys do need more support just as we as female physicians feel the pressure of being the primary bread earner I think you feel the pressure in some different ways so why don't you tell everybody how we got started on this name of Married to an Alpha Female. My wife inf- has been calling herself, Erin has been calling herself an Alpha Female for quite some period of time. And I made the statement to her, I've been looking up things to do to strengthen a marriage. And I've been reading things online and I had actually looked up Alpha Female. And there's all kinds of articles and, and uh, YouTube videos. And, and I'll be damned. I looked it up too and people have already jumped on it. But tell them, so you read these articles trying to get tips on how to maybe improve our marriage. Communication. All that stuff. Yes. And tell them how your trial runs went. One of them was, you know, more modern. It's, hey, send your wife a text telling her how, how you appreciate th- little things that she does every day. And I got the text and I was like, why the hell is he talking to me through the day? We're good. I got no response. Absolutely nothing. Silence. Crickets on the other end. And then tell them the other tips that these people who supposedly are experts on alpha females gave you. Some of them were things about um, doing some extra chores around the house, you know, of course, trying to help out. um, Which you already do. Helping out with the kids, um, things like that. Yes, I I, I feel like I already do those things. Um, I don't know what slacker husbands are out there not doing that, but they need to get their ass in line. um, Just doing some basic... uh, Oh, different communication things. I, I think complimenting you on your looks. Uh, basically, basically any and all of the suggestions I got were no, that doesn't work. Or uh, I'd get a funny look from you. Like, what are you trying to pull on me here, buddy? So uh, it's not been a very successful trial run so far. No, no. So we thought it would be important instead to go straight to other people. So we would love to hear your top 10 tips on loving your alpha female i'm willing to listen (laughs) i'll take any help i can get well i told him like don't buy me flowers i don't want flowers if you want something a gift or something to give me make it very practical and something that i see value in i don't want to just have flowers sitting around and plus they're not compliant in the clinic setting we always get in trouble for that kind of stuff some of the others were like uh you know, we need to have a date night every so often. I was like, oh, that's great because our schedules always line up perfectly. Well, we used to do that. Remember, we would go on lunches? Yeah. When the do, kids were at do school a, a or daycare. Date while the kids were out. <laughs> we probably ought to get back on that. That was kind of nice. And also, you know, it was a lot cheaper at lunch than at dinner time. Oh, yeah. We get the lunch specials. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'd, I'd take that suggestion. But uh, no, there were there were several ideas that. Basically, it was a complete swing and a miss for me every time. Mm -hmm. 
So now that we're talking about this, and we'll wait for other people to submit their ideas on how to best take care of your alpha female, what would your definition be of an alpha female? You know, that's a that's a good question. I'm glad you. It's you like threw I'm a life coach the, or something. Yeah, threw that out there on the spot on me, honey. Um, Not a softball throw. <laughs> no, no, it's really that's a tough. You should have prepped for this. <laughs> that's what we're calling our podcast. That's a good point too. Uh, no, to me, to me, an alpha female um, is a successful working outside of the house, outside of the traditional boundaries or uh, what roles. Like you said, maybe the breadwinner on the family. And I think it's a it's a, a woman that is not afraid to express her opinions as well. So I think that uh, there's a little bit of that that we need to also make sure we throw in. You want to hear my definition? I'd like to hear Okay, what I think of, honestly. Because you seem to have been more prepped than me. Well, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. So, like, when I hear alpha female, I see, like, top wolf of the pack. And, like, she leads. She also takes care of everyone, but she also knocks people's asses back in line when they start getting rowdy. She's the first one in the front, taking down game, finding shelter, taking care of the whole tribe, but yet will help those in the back push them forward and keep order. There have been some some uh, deer in the headlights looks I've noticed you uh, after you were done uh, expressing your opinion to other people before, so I would believe that. I would go for th- with that. So that's the illustration I see in my head. Wolf pack. Wolf pack. Unfortunately, our pack needs a little bit of... Uh, more direction at times i oh, feel Oh, the wild wiseman children so if you guys don't know ours are eight almost six and soon to be four we're entering into an even year and you know it's great and you think it's really hard with one but then they get to about 15 18 months and it's like this magical tricky age we're like oh wouldn't we want another one we oh, did yeah. that twice more yes, yes. It's uh, it's it's kind of the Lord's way of, of getting you to have another. They're just so cute. They do these absolutely adorable things. They start to do things like walk, pull up, maybe say some things. They smile every time they see you. They laugh, and 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 then and then about four months later, they just totally start to yeah. turn. That is like my one of my favorite ages of all of our kids when they hit that like fifteen to eighteen months. But then when they got to about two two and a half, whew. That's that's legit. And then three. Three has been a struggle with each of our kids in different ways. Yes. Each of them in, in very different ways. The youngest, I did not realize. I, I guess I felt that I... She's um, an alpha female wolf pup. Yes. I felt like I developed my own um, opinions and ideas over time. Hers came preloaded. And it was just until she hit a certain age till she could start expressing them. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to take down this world, I'm pretty sure. Yes, yes. I'm proud of that, though. I'm just hoping that I don't go down first. Uh, you know, <laughs> that Dad can get out of the way is kind of what he's hoping. You're worried there's going to be two alpha females in the pack. We're going to be going at each other. I'm afraid that I will. Ha- what I'll end up happening is that the, the boys will be off at college one day, and it'll be me and, and the, the, the alpha female, the alpha female, and then the, the, the pup. And that there could be a little power struggle yeah. at some point. Yeah. That's like 12 years away. I know. It's amazing to think. But you start to realize the choices you made in the past and where it's taking you in the future. So getting back on our theme of alpha female, you knew I was an alpha female oh, from absolutely. the beginning. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. From the very beginning. Yeah. First yeah. date beginning. You were a college athlete. You were an excellent student in school. You told me right away that you wanted to be a, a doctor, that you wanted to go to medical school. I think I phrased in the fact that no one's stopping me from doing this. Yeah, yeah. And you let me know that if we were going to be in a relationship, you know, I wasn't going to hold you up for any of those things, which I didn't understand why I would want to hold you up from doing what you wanted to do. Right. And uh, it was pretty simple on my part. I thought, well, if you want to be, you know, do this stuff go for it but I, what i mean from all of this is that it takes a pretty special person to come alongside that and like deal with all of it oh yeah yeah so i appreciate you for that yeah 
because it was di- it was difficult while you were in medical school and yeah uh, I mean that was a challenge and and during residency when you're working crazy hours and uh, you know that's that that's hard but I mean that's just part of it you know it is and I think it, it's not only just the grueling medical education track but I mean I think the personality too I mean even though we dated three or four years and then we were engaged what two yeah two years I think two and a half almost three years and then we got married so it wasn't like it was a rush deal but that first year of marriage a lot of my tendencies that that was like that was legit I remember very clearly you know, in a, in a house, we in a small home that we had rented and turning around and looking. And I was like, hey, you're everywhere in this place. You're going to be here all the time. And you're like, what do you mean? I was like, hey. I think hey. we both were in our each, each other's turf way oh, yeah. too much. Yeah. Until we had to figure out. But I mean, as much as it was like that, I mean, it was still a, a third or fourth year medical student. I mean, so I was still yes. busy. I can't even imagine if I had worked like a real job like an eight to five job and been around you more that first year it yeah, was rough because you work 12 hour days most of the time what do you think do you think it was a large adjustment having to take on more of like the domestic responsibilities or do you think you came into that a little bit prepared since we both were a little older when we got married i'd say i was i felt like i was fairly prepared now there were some things that um i had uh, you know Anytime you get married, you've got personal preferences of how you want to see this or that done. Mm-hmm. and uh, What soap to use. I remember we yeah. got in an argument about that yep. one time. Yep. What soap to use. That was, yes. And that was a good learning experience. So there's things like that that a person definitely learns uh, from and about, you know. I think I got onto you one time about cutting up an apple yeah. and you were doing it wrong. Yeah, I was doing it wrong. So I would say that needs to go under the alpha female Yes. Uh, definition that we have particulars. And, 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 you know, you would think that as long as you get it sliced, it would be satisfactory for yourself to eat. But, I mean, you know, like you're saying, it, particulars. Yeah. So, for all of our alpha female listeners out there, which I love you all, by the way, you as a married two, what encouragement would you give them? We take it from whatever perspective. You know, and that's that's difficult to say for sure because there's I have learned through the advice I have read online <laughs> that it doesn't all work and that, uh, you know, what may work in one instance or for one person uh, doesn't always work for everyone. Well, I think even in a time section, you know what I mean? Yeah. What was awesome in my 20s is not as cool in my 30s Yeah, and definitely is going to change in my 40s. Yeah, you run run uh, and leave your wife a little note where she's going to work or see it or leave it in the car or van or whatever and uh, and she's like ah, what's he doing There's another piece you know, of paper in the my way. advice for the spouses and partners just ask ask your alpha female what they want and if they don't know then they you need to encourage them to get their life coach out and help them with that right oh amen amen <laughs> no but seriously i think i think a lot of times instead of you guessing I would, I would rather you prefer you come to me and say, I'd like to do something nice for you, or I see you're working really hard. How can I offload you and ask? I was coming home for lunch trying to do that more often so I could be around my wife and see her. And, and I would come in the house and she's like, hey, I'm down here working. What do you need? And I was like, oh, I just wanted to spend a little time with you, honey. And, and you've been telling me lately, it's like, well, I'm working right now, so it's not a good time to spend time with me. We needed to pre-plan a little bit. Yes, better. and so it's a it's an excellent point that I think where you need to stop and just ask, hey, if I'd like to spend some time with you, is coming home during the day a good idea, or should we schedule a, a date night, a lunch, something like that, and uh, come up with a, a, a game plan, so as to speak. Yeah, I think so too. And that's because the alpha female... She's out there working. She's killing it. She's killing it. She's leading the pack. All right. I guess I should turn the tables on myself or maybe just ask it from a different perspective. What, as you as the partner, would you want alpha females to know better for their partners? I think uh, I think it's always important to know that you're there and sometimes, sometimes you are so driven, honey, that... Uh, Maybe I think you don't notice that you're 
ways or in I'm what intense. form your husband is trying to help you. Mm. And uh, maybe it would be just a basic stop and take a step back every now and then and see. Is that is that bum doing something over there or not? Do you feel overlooked sometimes? At times. Sometimes. It's not that I'm overlooked, but that I'm trying to help in this way or that way, and those things are overlooked. Mm. Yeah, I'd say so. Sometimes it just becomes an expectation. I think some of that comes from my leadership role in medicine. It just happens because yeah. I dictate yeah. that. Yeah. And I think that makes sense. But I just think that uh, there's always, uh, you know, just realizing, realizing. Well, hey, this was done out of out of the effort to, uh, out of the effort to make things easier on me, and um, maybe it's not always noticed. That's what I mean. Well, I appreciate you coming on here and doing these special features. If our audience likes it, if you want to come on the podcast. With your alpha female and Amen. married to an alpha female, yes. we'd love to have some guests. That would yes. be fun. Yes, and they could they could maybe share some of their stories. One of my favorites is that my wife, uh, our first year of marriage, was taking taking uh, self defense lessons, mm -hmm. and uh, and she came came home in the evening the first night, and I said, "Hey, how'd it go, honey? What what would we learn? You know?" And 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 she. She said, well, when somebody's choking you, I learned what to do. I said, come at me. Yeah. And so he did. And so I, I stood. I didn't come at you. I stood in front of you. You kind of came you at me. You showed me where to put my hand on, on your throat. On your throat. And all of a sudden, she screamed, made a chopping motion towards my windpipe. I dropped his ass. And yes. Dropped. Yes. 6'3", 240 pounds. Laid me out hard on Five, the seven, ground. Five seven one forty down. And I, I got up going, eh, eh, eh. and I said, uh, "What was that for?" And, and I said, "I was showing you what I learned. I didn't even hit you that hard." And I never ask again. Every week thereafter, I simply said, "You go to class tonight?" She said yes, and I said, "Good." We probably should add that into the definition of alpha female. I think comp competitive comes into that absolutely too. absolutely yeah. yeah well all right my friends i hope you enjoyed this intro section to married to an alpha female we'll come up with more content and more structure in future episodes but i really would love to hear if this is something that other people are interested in hearing about yeah i think it's a subject maybe that hasn't been approached in the podcasting world yet what a female physician alpha female and her partner and how we deal with the intricacies of life and practice and kids and everything in between. So remember, friends, your life, your calling, check, your check, 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 matters. Matters. Bye. Heavy lids, one, two, three, four. You've got something to ignore.